Hello. Thanks for joining me in this journal reveal. I'm Pat Winter, and my newest journal, Priscilla, is it's about 99% complete. I've got a couple little things to add, but um, I wanted to share her with you today. She has four signatures. She's a hardcover, and I just added just some washi tape and... Um, vintage lace and a lace um, applique and a couple of the little those little flowers that come in little bouquets I can't remember the name they're flocked and a piece of pretty fabric on the spine with the name Priscilla and on the back is a piece of silk dupioni that has silk ribbon embroidery embroidered flowers and that's a pocket which I just put a couple pieces of ephemera like a perfume bottle and an embossed fabric card that has a china or ceramic or porcelain um, cabochon and then a pretty envelope and the well most of the um, papers that I used are from Lisa and Olive, uh, Ruby and Pearl, Chapter One, Raindrop Lila, Paper Daisy Journals, Sam Pool, uh, Amity Bloom's Washi Tape, Odocina, and Dust to Roses. And there are more. I know I forgot some. I always do, because I don't write stuff down, which is very bad. Um, but if, if you're curious about something, just let me know and I'll, I'll definitely answer your questions. Um, the closure is a jewelry uh, bracelet clasp, which I like to use because they're very easy to open and, and secure. And under the front cover is a piece of bridal lace that I dipped in when I, I was avocado dyeing my papers. I just dipped in a few of the laces so they would all blend. And under the front cover, I have an um, authentic 1926 letter and a two cent stamp. <laughs> and this little trifold pocket is from um, Ruby and Pearl. She had made one, or she made a few of them. They were so interesting. Everyone was making their version of them. So, of course, I had to join in. So if you want to make one, just check out Ruby and Pearl on Instagram. And she has this little tutorial. And I just put some vintage lace samples, which is held down by just a simple paper clip. And then on the inside, you fill this little little section with uh, various ephemera. And then tie it. It just makes a cute little um, accent in your journal. And these are just empty envelopes that I thought were so pretty. I just wanted to, I printed them on uh, avocado dyed paper. And they already had some some dyeing or some aging to them, so it made them really look old, which I love. So, anyway, they're just little empty envelopes to put little, like um, oh, like little fortunes from your your Chinese dinners or something, or little tickets from the theater, or what have you. Okay, and here's another one of the little envelopes, and these are Lisa and Olive. I hope, and some tickets, and that's just a decoration. And inside between when I, I actually uh, glued on most of the trims, and I didn't like the shiny glue underneath because I used the, um, the four in one. No, I didn't, I used the Fabri-Tac. And so I put some of the little beads, the little uh, beads that they don't have eyes, I don't know what they're called, but uh, those are from Krynik, and I had them left over from my crazy quilting days. I don't remember what I used them for, but anyway, they kind of filled in several of the areas that were glued throughout this journal. 
and I put some little rhinestone, flat rhinestones as a necklace and a little vintage applique under this lady who's just um, just a tuck spot. And I've had to use a couple of the, the cute little sample cards, which um, uh, Lisa and Olive, um, Sam Poole, and Odocina. That's where I, my, I sourced these out. And here's one I just use as a tuck spot. I just put a sheer piece of fabric, but it's basically just a journal card tuck spot. I left a lot of space for journaling, which has always been tough for me, but I've decided I've got to start doing that. So this is a zinnia from my flower garden this year, and I learned the microwave drying method, and it just takes like three minutes. And I sandwiched it between a coin collector's um, disc. And this is just an envelope, which I'm gonna have to fix because, oh no, that's right, I did it with a Velcro. Sometimes I forget. <laughs> And I just put some samples of wallpaper and then just a pretty torn piece of paper to write on. And some little journaling cards that I printed on the back. Added a little bit of uh, the little fabric, the ribbon rose trim. And this is a postcard, or an envelope from Amity Bloom, and I just filled it with a sticker and some postcards and um, wallpaper samples. And this is just a paper clip. A very simple hidden paper clip. And this is the transfer paper I printed on. And this was connected with the paper clip. It's just a journaling card. And some handmade paper. And I use this paper a lot. Um, I'm sorry, right off the bat, I can't remember whose it is, but I, I love this page. I don't know if it's a sketch of the elderly woman or the road, I don't know, but I love that paper. Then I have some butterflies from Ira Lamija shop, and I used them as tucks. Some journaling cards and this tiny little, I love that little. I think this is um, my porch prints from Grandma's Attic, but I am not positive. Just some blank pretty pages and some pretty women I cut out and used as tuck spots and these I'm going to do a tutorial a video on of how to use a Versa tool which is just a heat tool that transfers um, printed printables to paper wood and fabrics and this is one as well you can do it as light or as heavy as you want. And I wanted this to look like it was like a ghost picture, just a there, but not all the way solid. So I just, well, I'll show you in the tutorial, hopefully um, today. And I, I put in a few little sayings throughout this book. Tried to add a lot of the small lace trims And this is um, one of the little tabs, but they're also pockets. And this is, um, oh my goodness, I use them now in all of my, my pages. I cannot remember. If Marlene is her name and I cannot remember. Oh goodness, well, I'll think about that. But I just put in a few... Um, of the, they look like old linens, embroidered linens, and I use them as journaling cards. 
And on the other side as well, I put in a sticker. I just printed on sticker uh, label paper, sticker paper that you make labels out of, mailing labels. And here I found my supply of Bindi, their little um, stick-on like charms, their little decorations. And um, I had a few packs of those I used to use for miniature uh, soldered necklaces, pendants that I used to crazy quilt. And this one, I found that and it matched, so I just it just fit the curve of the hat, so I had to put that on there. And here's some more of the um, the no hole beads, the tiny, they're in a vintage silver tone. And I just put it in between the where the glue was showing through. And that's on a few others. More blank pages, another pocket with some vintage wallpaper samples. Printed, not authentic. I love this page, and I thought it went perfectly with this little, um, like a yoke. It's a vintage lace and cotton linen yoke from a dress. And this is um, a hidden pocket that I just put a nice large piece of paper in. A little piece of vintage lace. And here is another of Marlene's page tabs with a couple of tags and an envelope. I think it has stickers in it. No, you know, it does have, it has a sticker and then some random small ephemera. And then a couple little pieces of, for notes, like to write a date or something on. And this is one of my favorite cards. I put a little wink of Stella to kind of highlight her lace. And this is a little compact. Uh, I thought it was so pretty pink compact to put in to hold um, Priscilla's little, her photo and then another little tag for journaling. And a couple more pieces of ephemera and another sticker. And the other half of that pretty vintage yoke. As you can see, there's a lot more journaling space in this than any of my journals. And yes, it was hard to do. It was very difficult to refrain from putting in more. Uh, this is just a tuck spot to put in some large item. I think it was harder to do this one without decorating every page than it was just going nuts and decorating like I used to do. I love this, so I wanted to keep it very simple because that's that just speaks for itself. And I backed it with avocado dyed paper. And here's a couple more little sample cards with some pretty little fabrics and lace. And on this one, I added, I used to hand dye my own silk ribbon. So I put in a couple yards, just um, whoever gets this, they may stitch or they may not, but it, I just wanted to put it in there as part of um, Priscilla's little keepsakes. And here's one of the silk ribbons. I love these women. And here's a little charm high heel. And another little tuck spot with a pretty little card. And this page flips out a couple of times. And underneath is a little pocket, piece of paper on that sample card. And 
I love this wallpaper. And another pocket with some more perfume because Priscilla loves perfume. And that's why I put a couple of little, I collect miniature perfume bottles. Well, I have about a million of them. <laughs> so I just thought that would be pretty to put in here because you can still write little notes, you know, little dates and mementos. And here's a little piece of vintage applique with a little bow charm. I love this paper too. And this hand is just, just um, for a tuck spot with uh, just some vintage laces and stuff, which you can use the back for journaling cards. Uh-oh, I don't know where that little piece went, but a little envelope or cards tucks in there. Wherever you go, go with all your heart. And I made this lady. She's got the little beads on her, kind of decorating a little bit. And she's just a tuck spot for these. First little small notes. And here's a pretty Swiss dot floral print sheer. And this is a Susan Clark charm, which I love. I've been hanging on to that, but I think it belongs in this book because of the color and it's just a pretty little old fashioned flower. And this has some nice, this is a little folder that you can write in as, and it also holds a couple of tags and a sticker. And that is a My Porch Prints uh, folder. And this envelope, it has, it's like a little sample card, but it has um, a little Velcro, and inside is a piece of paper, a nice large piece of paper that you can write on that's been avocado dyed. I just like the shape of it. I thought that was, that was pretty. And the color, of course. Ends plenty of journaling space, which by these pages, they just don't need anything. They're just so pretty on their own. And here's a little filigree heart, piece of vintage uh, tatting trim as a dangle. I love that page too. And pages like this, you can use the stickers and just attach one of your notes or receipt or something. And there's a belly band with another pressed uh, embossed piece of pretty fabric on a sample card. And lots and lots of journaling space. And this is just a pocket that I just loaded with with uh, journaling cards. On the other side, I have an envelope that has been embossed and one that hasn't. And they have little more stickers. You can use them as um, book plates because they're big enough that you can just put who they're whose book it belongs to, and they're nice and pretty. And and this is just a little belly band that has some small little note cards. I think they're, when they're really pretty little things, I like to, to make them a little spotlight on a page because they're just, they deserve it. <laughs> They're just pretty little accents. And this pocket has a couple of journaling cards that look like the vintage wallpaper and one that came out of a purchased pack some of something and a little bookmark. It's uh, avocado dyed printed paper. And this 
is a pocket full of roses that you could stick somewhere or just use them as uh, journaling cards as well with little dates or whatever. And it has a vintage lace handkerchief corner and it flips up and you can write a little secret note in there. So it's a pocket and a note. And here's another um, bookmark. And on the back, I simply put some large journaling cards that you can flip up and write on the back. And underneath, this just slides in the side. And you can also, it's got a little piece of Velcro. You can also write a secret note or important dates in there. And that is it. That's Priscilla. I think she has been taken. I'm not positive. Um, I did put a tiny little rhinestone earring on there. And um, she will be going to her home early next week if she is taken. So thank you very much for watching and have a great day.